Novak Djokovic, yeah. number one tennis player in the world, cannot come to the United States. He couldn't come last year to the U.S. Open. He cannot come in the BNP Paribas Open, which is this month, uh, because the Biden administration is denying him entry. The events begin today because he's unvaccinated, Emily. I was just going to say, imagine being in Australia, imagine being in France where their government is already kind of freaked out about the social social justice ideology being exported um, in, in, from America into the rest of the world. Although I would say France did a lot of exporting of that earlier in the 21st century, or in the 20th century, uh, than they may perhaps like to admit. But imagine being Novak Djokovic and looking at this, seeing how your country was wrecked because the American bureaucracy, I am deeply deeply embarrassed to say, is Byzantine and completely out of control to the point where we're doing gain-of-function research like this after that pause in 2014, like this in a way that is so unaccountable, so unsafe that there was potentially, and it looks like seriously, according to intelligence assessments, a lab leak that changed the course of world history that left people dead that left people dead and the Americans are weaponizing racism to cover their butts and to cover for the Chinese. Just imagine being another country. I'm not saying other countries are, are perfect. I'm not saying America is perfect, but what we have done here and what Fauci specifically, the more we learn, like revelations like this, I think show clearly how embarrassing what he did was for the United States. It's not just a gross statement on our media. It's a statement on how our government and our media are allowing the United States sort of bureaucracy the most powerful country in the world, the most powerful bureaucracy in the world, to have all of its tentacles and all of these different things around the world, but not be held accountable for them, not mm. hold themselves accountable for them, not be able to monitor the research, not be able to control the research. Um, and it is just like, like I said before, the, the thing that comes to mind is deeply embarrassing. Uh, and yes. to look at what's happening to Djokovic right now, to look at the way he's treated by our media after they helped our elites spread these charges of racism and these uh, false narratives is just like, is so embarrassing as an American. How dare we keep him out at this point, Eliana? How dare we keep him out? He, there was, there were reports early on that he had COVID, right? That they were, they were taking pictures of him. They're like, oh, he's circulating with people while he has. Well, if that's true, he's got natural yeah. immunity, which we've just learned officially from the, the liars who have finally come around to admitting that's even better for, for preventing future cases than the vaccine is. Um, so, Best case scenario for Novak Djokovic, he's already had it and he should be fine coming into the United States. But let's say he's never had it. Who cares? Who cares? The vaccines, those of us who are vaccinated can still get COVID. Those of us who've had COVID can still get COVID. We talked the other week about Savannah Guthrie, who I guarantee you has had every booster ever invented, who had to run off the Today Show set because she got COVID. The fact that he, that he, yeah, she, and she's had COVID twice and she's had the vaccines. Oh, and he's had it. He's had it twice too. So anyway, the point is, what basis do we have for keeping him out of the country? Him being vaccinated or unvaccinated is not going to affect a single American. It's ridiculous. And I think one of the most maddening things about the COVID ep epidemic has been um, the from the people who say we have to follow the science and who beat us over the head with follow the science, follow the science and tell us tell, tell folks like us that we don't care about science. Um, they, in fact, are immune to scientific evidence when it doesn't suit their policies or their politics. So the truth is that nat natural immunity is as good as um, or better than a vaccine. And yet our policies make no uh, exception for the unvaccinated if they're naturally immune. And the same with mask wearing, where at, for some reason, every medical office I go to in this country requires one of those silly, uh, useless, you know, paper masks. And, you know, my my uh, one-year-old's daycare instructors uh, are still wearing masks. Uh, so that stuff is really frustrating. And I, I do think really undermines the credibility of our medical establishment. Fauci has done, Fauci single-handedly has done an enormous disservices disservice um, in terms of people like me who, you know, I'm vaccinated. I, I used to trust doctors a lot more than I do now. I look at all of that stuff with a lot more skepticism um, now after COVID than I did before. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, so now it's got a political angle to it, which is kind of interesting. Ron DeSantis weighing in on the Novak because this is, they basically call it the Miami Open. Um, he's the governor of Florida. And obviously eyeing a presidential run. So he weighs in urging 
uh, the Biden administration to to let him play. Like, it's not going to happen. It's the play started today. But uh, saying the only thing keeping Mr. Djokovic from participating in this tournament is your administration's continued enforcement of a misguided, unscientific, and out of date COVID nineteen requirement. Even as you enacted the proclamation on air travel that remains in force to this day, your administration pointedly allowed thousands of unvaccinated migrants to enter our country through the southern border. And reportedly, according to uh, Fox News, he's wondering out loud whether Djokovic could potentially enter the U.S. by boat. Um, They're citing him as saying, it's not clear to me why, even by the terms of your own proclamation, Djokovic could not legally enter this country via boat. (laughs) So so maybe he's going to be on like a little sailboat. (laughs) <laughs> trying, to, trying to get in via the Miami port. It's absurd. It's going to be a campaign issue. It'll be used against Joe Biden. I've never been able to compost before. It was always too complicated and too much work. Not anymore, thanks to Lomi. Lomi allows me to turn my food scraps into dirt with a push of a button. Lomi is a countertop electric composter that turns scraps into dirt in under four hours. There's no smell when it runs, and it's really quiet. Thanks to Lomi, we have way less garbage each week. And instead, we are turning our food waste into nutrient-rich dirt that we can feed to our plants. Now, I am composting and creating soil instead of waste. I have a basically limitless supply of dirt from my growing garden. And if you would like to start making a positive environmental impact too, or you just want to make cleanup after dinner that much easier and fun, Lomi is perfect for you. Go to lomi.com slash MK, L-O-M-I.com slash MK, and use the promo code MK to get 50 bucks off your order. $50 off when you head to L-O-M-I.com slash MK. Use that promo code MK for your discount. Food waste is disgusting. Lomi is the solution. Lomi.com slash MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.